Tonight, Charlotte nonprofits are seeking solutions to homelessness. In just over a week, several city ordinances will be recriminalized after concerns about unsanitary and unsafe conditions in Uptown. Many argue the ordinances unfairly target the unsheltered population. WCNC Charlotte's Julie Kaufman shares how nonprofits plan to help them. The city is paying Hearts for the Invisible $500,000 to create a center city outreach team, bringing services to people facing homelessness and helping them get off the street. Many people calling Uptown home don't have a home. There's a growing um, number of folks experiencing unsheltered homelessness there. Homelessness is a problem beyond Center City. It's pretty bad. Nonprofits tackling the issue countywide now focusing their efforts inside the Queen's Crown. Jessica Lefkowitz leads Hearts for the Invisible. She's building an outreach team that will work with CMPD's CARES team. You're going to where they sleep, where they spend their time. We come from a place of love and we want people to feel comfortable and safe with us. This as several behaviors like sleeping on benches, panhandling, and public defecation starting March 1st will be arrestable offenses. I think if they have some, some, uh, some additional supports that would prevent these arrests from happening, I'm sure that they would take us up on that. Lefkowitz hopes the partnership will prevent arrests and build trust with the homeless. We need to have something that goes far beyond just the recriminalization of the ordinances, and that's why we're so focused on this holistic response. Catherine Furman Sellers with United Way says outreach teams are an integral part of the Home for All plan, a multifaceted strategy in Mecklenburg County to end unsheltered homelessness. The vision is to ensure that homelessness is rare, brief, and non-recurring, and that everyone has access to affordable housing and the resources to sustain it. She says implementing it will take time, especially with the severe lack of affordable housing. We have to remain committed to the mission over the long haul. Hearts for the Invisible is looking for a social worker, addiction counselor, and peer support specialist to join the outreach team. We have details on WCNC.com. This is Julia Kaufman reporting once again. We know homelessness is a big issue in our area, so let us know what questions you still want answered about this topic. You can email us at newstips at WCNC.com. Let's turn to that.